Hello everybody, Miss Macho here, and today we are going to go over how to get Steam Workshops for Epic Rocket League users. If you have ever watched any Rocket League content, you have probably seen people in crazy custom maps unlike anything in the normal Rocket League game, such as rings, dribble arenas, and even fun obscure mini games. These are what are known as Steam Workshops and are only available for PC players. Once the game became free to play through Epic, anyone who got the game through them didn't have access to the amazing library of workshops that is available for Steam users. But over time, people such as Lethemir came out with different ways to get the workshops for Epic users. Currently, the easiest way to get them is through a Bacchus Mod plugin. If you don't already have Bacchus Mod installed, you can go to my tutorial that is linked in this video's description. Once it's installed, you'll want to make sure Bacchus Mod and Rocket League are open. Next, you'll need to go to your web browser and search bacchusplugins.com. This is the main website for finding useful Bacchus Mod plugins, and I recommend searching through them at some time. Once you get to that site, you'll want to search for the plugin Workshop Map Loader and Downloader. When you get to its page, there will be a blue button that says Install with Bacchus Mod. When you click that button, you might be greeted with a pop up asking if you want the Bacchus Mod link to open the plugin installer. You'll want to click open on this because if you don't, the installation process will not proceed. A black window will then appear on your screen. As long as Bacchus Mod and Rocket League are open, this window should very quickly say the plugin has been installed at the very bottom. If Rocket League is not open, it will inform you that the plugin will finish installing next time you open the game. Once you see this, you can close the window and the web browser and go to your open Rocket League game. Now, we will want to click the F2 key on your keyboard to open up Bacchus Mod, and then go to the plugin tab at the very top. Once there, you should see a new plugin called Workshop Map Loader somewhere in your list of plugins. You'll need to click on this and then click on Open Plugin Window, where you will then be greeted with a new window that is mostly empty. Before you do anything else, the first step will be to check the file path that your workshop maps will be installed to. You can either leave it at default or set a custom path for these files. After you set the file path, make sure to click Save Path so it will remember the path anytime you open the plugin. Now you'll want to go to the Search Workshop tab on the top left. In this tab, you can either type a keyword to search for or browse all the maps by clicking the big button on the right hand side. Once you find a workshop you want to download, click the version and then click Yes. A progress bar will appear at the top and once the map is downloaded, you want to go back to the Map Loader tab. At first you will see nothing new, but once you click the Refresh Maps button, your downloaded maps should appear. Click which one you would like to play, click Solo, and then give it a moment to load into the game. Once it loads, you can click to close the Bacchus Mod windows and you'll be ready to experience the world of Steam Workshops. I hope this tutorial helped, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Good luck, and I look forward to seeing you in Rocket League.